Your educational rock star, Mr. Moore, is back again for week eight. Great instruction is planned for you guys. So without further ado, let's get it on and popping. can statement for this week is I can identify basic music symbols and note and rest values. Your champs expectations for this week, your conversation levels of voice level zero, H is for help. If you are in the classroom, please raise your hand. If you are at home, pause or rewind the video or contact Mr. Moore. A is for your activity of the day. M is for your movement. If you're in class, please stay in your seat. If you're at home, please stay in your learning area. P is for participation. Everybody must participate. And if you do all of those things, you will be successful for this week. So third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade, you guys will be going over your basic notes and rest for this week. In this video, I'm going to go over all of your basic notes. Please make sure that you pay attention because you will see these notes every day this week. Also, if you're coming back to school, we'll be using these notes in class. So it's very, very important that you take this seriously, okay? So please pay attention. If you miss something, feel free to pause the video or rewind the video and go back and listen to it again. All right, let's get started. The first note is called the whole note. And as you can see, it looks like a circle. A whole note receives four counts in music. Now, I don't want to play the note for you. I don't want to play these notes for you. That's not important right now. I just need you to know what the note is and how many counts it gets. So a whole note, which looks like a circle, it receives four counts in music. This is a half note. A half note looks like an open circle with the stem on the top or sometimes the stem can be on the bottom. A half note receives two counts in music. A half note receives two counts in music. The next note is a quarter note. A quarter note is a shaded in circle with the stem going up or the stem can be going down. A quarter note receives one count in music. A quarter note receives one count in music. The next note I wanna talk about is your dotted half note. Your dotted half note, it looks like a half note except it has a dot behind it. A dotted half note receives three counts in music. A dotted half note receives three counts in music. Your next note is a little bit tricky. This is an eighth note. An eighth note, it looks like a quarter note, but it has a stem going up and it also has a hook at the end of it, okay? Looks like a quarter note, but it has a hook on the end of it. An eighth note receives a half count in music. An eighth note receives one half count in music. Now, this is one eighth note. The last pair of notes are still eighth notes, but these are two eighth notes, okay? So the way that you connect the two eighth notes it's with a line at the top connecting them together. So these are two eighth notes, and we call these a pair. It's just like when you wear shoes. If you have two shoes, you call them a pair. If you have two eighth notes, you call them a pair of eighth notes. So a pair of eighth notes 
receive one full count in music. A pair of eighth notes receive one full count in music. Please pay attention and remember that. Students, please remember that you are going to be seeing these notes for the rest of the school year, so it's very, very important that you know what these notes are, how many counts they get, and later on we're going to learn how to play them. So please take your time and pay attention. Rewind the video, watch it as many times as you need to. If you need any help, please get a parent or a guardian to help you out. Or you can just contact Mr. Moore. If you're in class, you can always raise your hand and I will help you understand it a little bit better. For your lessons this week, make sure you take your time. Please make sure that you're turning in all work on a daily basis. Okay, I appreciate all of my students for doing a good job. This is Mr. Moore, your educational rock star, saying let's have a good week. Take care, be safe, and God bless. Peace.